Hey guys, today I'm going to be reading a book called Room on the Broom. It's very interesting and I like it. The author is Julian Donaldson and the illustrator is Axel Scheffler. I really like the books about Julia Donaldson, so let's begin. The witch had a hat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair which she wore in a plate. How the cat purred and how the witch grind as they sat on the broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wide, with wildly it blew off the hat. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down her head, I'm a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a, a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and wished they were gone. So very stormy in the picture. Over the field and the forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud and held on her hat, but away blew the bow from her long ginger plate. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear splatting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low. Then said, as the witch tried her plate and a bow, I'm a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped her the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, the birds shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch cluttered her, clutched her bow but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leaped dripping wet frog with a dripping wet hand. He dropped it politely, then said with a crow, as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak, I'm a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and mountains they flew. The frog jumped of joy. Now they're flying over the mountains and the moors. But all of a sudden they all fell. The broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a ball. The witch's broomstick flew in a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. Oh no, it's a dragon. I'm a dragon as mean as can be and I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. No, cried the witch flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her. Help, cried the witch flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer and nearer, licking his lips, said, maybe this once I'll have witch without chips. But just as he planned to begin on his feet, from out a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird, and its terrible voice. When it started to speak, it was a yowl and a growl, and croak and a shriek, a drip, and it squelched as it strode from the ditch, and it said to the dragon, Buzz off! That's my witch! The dragon drew back, and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down, down climbed the cat, said, 
Phew, said the dog, and thank you, oh, thank you. The grateful witch cried, without you, I'd be in that dragon the inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grunt, find something, everyone, threw something in it. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a tig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in, and the witch steered them well. And while she was steering, she muttered as well, Liggity zickety zackety zoom then out rose a truly magnificent room with seats for the witch and the dog cat and the dog a nest for the bird and a shelf for the frog yes cried the witch and they clambered on the witch tapped her broomstick and wished they were gone so guys this is the end of the story called room on the broom it's very interesting and you guys might want to read it so guys i hope you like this video if you did subscribe our channel and give us a huge thumbs up and i'll see you all next time goodbye